I met Meyer when I began to shop at the store where she worked. I noticed that she was just one of the coolest clerk persons <laughs> behind the counter. I mean, she would engage with people in the eye and uh, smile and make you feel welcome, even though you're just buying groceries. And so I tried to uh, go through her line when I could, when I saw her working. When I met uh, Jan, I was doing dialysis already. It was a shock for me that I was diagnosed, but I never had the feeling that I will have the kidney failure right away. So I decided to take a risk and just ask her in line if she was sick, because uh, I noticed she wasn't feeling well. And she shared with me that she had kidney failure. I would say over a good month or two of discerning that myself in my heart, I felt called to at least offer to Myra the option of me being um, investigated and looked into as far as a potential donor. Um, so I went through her line again and, and offered to her this idea of maybe perhaps me being an organ donor for her, for her need of a kidney. I felt so honored that uh, somebody who, know, who doesn't really know me, who just know me from the, you know, in that customer, you know, relationship would offer such a thing. Myra De La Vega began as a stranger, clerk, nice person behind the counter and has turned into a, uh, a wonderful sister and family member now, uh, both for myself and my wife and our children. I call him my angel. I always tease Dan that uh, I think you are really an angel who came from heaven pre and pretending to be a, a normal person. Um, I mean, literally like an angel. Who, who does uh, good to, to everyone in any way he can. It was my hope and desire that Myra could live to be an old lady, to watch her children graduate from high school and college and become married and have children. And to see how Myra's life has improved this last year with this new kidney has far exceeded all my expectations. Um, she will live to be an old lady, and her daughter now is in college, and her son is soon becoming a uh, pre-med student. And uh, I have every reason to believe that I'll be sitting in the back row at those weddings someday.